Hi, my name is Grant Gilman. I am the music director of the Alpharetta Symphony Orchestra. On November 4, the Alpharetta Symphony will present Wires and Pines at the Alpharetta First United Methodist Church. The first composer featured on this concert is William Schumann, not to be confused with the German Romantic composer Robert Schumann. William Schumann was a 20th century American composer with a very interesting origin story and a greatly impactful career. So the story goes, Schumann was a business student at NYU, and though he did compose and play a little bit, it wasn't a big deal. Then one day in 1930, his friends dragged him to a concert of the New York Phil conducted by Arturo Toscanini. The experience was so overwhelming for him that the next day he walks into the Malkin Conservatory of Music and asks, how do I become a composer? And the rest is history. Schumann went on to not only be a prolific composer, but he was president and teacher at the Juilliard School, founder of the Juilliard String Quartet, winner of two Pulitzer Prizes of Music, president of the Lincoln Center, and was even awarded the National Medal of Arts. The opening piece on this concert, Newsreel, in five shots, is basically from someone opening up the newspaper in the 1940s and seeing these five headlines. A horse race. A fashion show. tribal dance, monkeys at the zoo, and finally a parade. In typical Schumann style, each movement is a vignette with a distinct clarity of character. Rounding out the first half, we have the winner of our concerto competition, Philip Jong, performing the first cello concerto by French composer Camille Sasson. This piece is a standard of the repertoire, capable of both dizzying virtuosity and subtle moments of intimacy. And I think you'll find our very young soloist has a great capacity in both areas. The second half opens with Vols Triste by Finnish composer Jean Sibelius. A viscerally dark work, it explores the drastic range of emotions felt during depression from death to hope and back again. The feature piece that closes this program is the Tour de Force Pines of Rome by Italian composer Ottorino Respighi. The beginning explodes with excitement meant to be children playing in the streets, chaotic and joyful, complete with victory shouts and youthful taunting. And then, all at once, it stops. Immediately. We are at the cold, dark entrance to an ancient catacombs. We hear solemn melodies finally punctuated by an offstage trumpet situated as far away from the stage as possible. Then, presumably having descended to the full depth of the catacombs, we come upon a dramatic scene of greatness and reverence of an ancient age past. Next, we arrive at a garden along the Tiber River. One could almost feel a chill wisping through the still night air and as a clarinet solo begins, meant to be a kind of nightingale song, Respighi indicates that it's to be played as if in a dream. As the scene unfolds, we kind of get the feeling that this is no ordinary stroll through the garden. Probably something a bit more romantic is unfolding underneath the stars.
Finally, we come to the Appian Way, dubbed the Queen of Roads. It stretched 400 miles from the Forum in Rome to the port city of Brindisi, much of it lined with these stoic, ancient Roman pines. The music starts with the worried turmoil of the city itself, all underpinned by this thumping heartbeat. Then, very subtly, a fanfare begins. First from on stage, then it's answered from somewhere way off in the distance. Here, Respighi utilizes offstage brass to represent the, the, the arrival of all arrivals, the, the heroic Roman army returning victorious to the capital city. And what happens through to the end of the piece is, is quite overwhelming. As the army gets closer and closer, the sound gets louder and louder, and that, that heartbeat that you heard very very quiet in the beginning, it's it's now all consuming. Until finally the bass drum and timpani players are pounding on these drums as hard as they possibly can. And the music finally erupts as the as the roof is literally blown off the hall. I don't think you want to miss this. Mm-hmm. 